What is up everybody? We got another one for you today. Today's gonna be an automotive vlog. I got Jonathan right over here. What's going on? <laughs> Alright, so we got a, what year is this Honda? Uh, 2009. 2009 Honda Fit. What happened? We think <laughs> it's the alternator. We're diagnosing it right now and let me show you how we're gonna do that. So first of all, what we're gonna do is we're gonna check the battery voltage. So we got our little positive lead from our multimeter right here on the positive terminal. Negative lead, which is a black color, on our ground terminal. And then we got our multimeter. So we have 11.7 volts. So one, it's a little low. So, you know, we might have to do a little bit of charging right before we go ahead and turn it on. But now, let's go ahead and turn it on and then we'll verify right now whether it's charging or not. All right guys, so we're ready to take the alternator off. So we're gonna start off by taking off the belt. So they has, this has a spring-loaded tensioner on it. The tensioner is right here. We're gonna use a 19 millimeter right here and all we gotta do is we gotta, well first get the wrench on it. And then we gotta pull up on it and it'll release tension. So once the tension has been released, you can go ahead and carefully put your finger, oh, let me see if I can, let me see if I can maneuver. You're gonna go ahead and put your finger right underneath the belt and try to pry it off. Can you get that? You should just be able to pry it off forward. It's coming off. Okay, is it? Yeah. There we go. There we go. Okay, so we got the belt off. Perfect. Take our wrench out of the way and now Looks like there's a maybe 12 millimeter bolt right here. There's more than likely gonna be another one on the bottom and we should be able to slide it off somehow. We also have connectors right here. One of them's gonna be a power connector. The other one's gonna be a sensor or it's gonna be going to the module, the computer itself. So here's a connector for the module. This one's got probably the battery cable. So we're gonna go ahead and get those two taken off right now. Okay, so we disconnected. There's a blue connector right here that goes on the bottom or on the side of the alternator. And then we disconnected the power wire right here. That was a 10 millimeter nut. So we got that. The belt's already off. So now we got to start working on the two bolts on the front of it to loosen it. So you can see one, you know, right here on the top. It looks like a 10 millimeter. Okay, you're going to stick a ratchet in here. Definitely not a 10 millimeter. <laughs> Okay, so that one's a 12 millimeter. Okay, that came off pretty easy. Now we're just gonna finish taking it off with our hand. All right, so I don't know if you guys can see, but there's actually a bolt right here in the back of the alternator. So we had one in the front and there's one in the back. You should be able to clearly see it's 12 millimeter also. I did have to put an extension on there with a fine tooth ratchet just to kind of get it loosened up. And now it looks like it's about ready to go. So I think all I have to do is just pry this out. We're gonna go ahead and do that. And then we're gonna show you how to take it out because it already looks like that's gonna be the issue. But this should be fun. You having fun, Jonathan? Oh yeah. Yeah, see? Yeah. So this is gonna be great. Great learning experience. Yeah, this is, it's probably gonna be tough. I'm not gonna lie, probably gonna be tough. <laughs> All right, let's go. Actually, Jonathan, you wanna give it a little pry? try? Yeah. All right, let's see. Where should I pry it at? Anywhere pryable. Go between the uh, intake manifold and the alternator. Let's go see. Let's try and pry it out a little bit. Oh, would you? Oh, we just, it just clicked on the radiator here. It's fine. It's just a fan shot. It's fine. <laughs> let's go. Let's go try wiggling in a different way. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Can we rock it back and forth? Oh, are you still stuck on something? Boom. There we go. There we go. Now we have to figure out how to take it out. All right, Jonathan, spin it sideways. Point the pulley towards the back. Can you spin it in place? Oh, wait a minute. Is the harness trying to come up with it? Is there a clip for the harness? No, I'm just... Oh, there yeah. is. There is. It's... Okay, so we got to pry that off. Yes. I gotta... It's like gotta... always an issue with these damn clips. Little... All right, so right now we're putting the... We got a new serpentine belt. We're putting that on right now because we figured it'd be easiest to do it now while the alternator's out. So we did have to move this hose back a little bit, the hot side AC hose back a little bit to get the alternator out, and then we kind of had to wiggle it. So uh, it was definitely a challenge. Probably just as much of a challenge as this belt is. So since we can't get underneath it, we're just using a pry bar. A pry bar and some just putting tension on it. So hopefully, let me hold that tension. 
Uh, no, let's try and put this one down here first. So we're going to put the AC compressor on. That one's at the bottom. So actually, it's not terribly bad because you don't have a whole maze of pulleys. But it's just a matter of getting it aligned to get it to work. Doesn't help that we both have fat hands, too. No, no. <laughs> it really doesn't. <laughs> Okay, that's around the AC compressor, but I'm having trouble putting it on the crank pulley, the bottom of the crank pulley. I got the top portion on. Come on. Okay. Well, we can leave it at that, and then once the alternator comes on, this guy goes on, and then we'll realign it. So let's go ahead and let's start trying to put that guy in. All right, so we got the alternator back in. You got it started, Jonathan? Yeah, I got it started. Starting the thread. Boom. So now the back one. So as we said, there's one up here, right up front, right here. And there's one in the back of the alternator. Those are the only two bolts that hold it in. You can do it. You can do it. <laughs> Sometimes all they need is more support. That's all they need. That's all I need. Just to get a good screw in, right, Jonathan? Oh, yeah. Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> all right, everybody, so we got it all back together. We got it turned on. The belt was still a bear to put back on, and we connected the connector in the back and the power supply, connected our battery back, and now we're charging at 14.2 volts. So that pretty much fixes our issue, or the issue that we saw. So it only took us maybe 45 minutes to an hour, maybe. And not that long. Yeah, it wasn't that long at all. So. That was another quick little fix. If you guys have any questions, any videos that you guys want to see, let me know and I'll, you know, try to see if I can make them for you. But other than that, this has been it for the day and, uh, you know, hope to catch you guys in another video. Until then, go out there, have fun, enjoy what you do.